Hey guys, Sarge here with the December 24th, 1942 combat replay for my 1v1 against Invictus on Warn the Pacific Admiral's Edition on Scenario 2. Hoping to get more damage into his convoy at turn 8. Not really expecting anything else other than the status quo. Supply unloading at Kaviang, he's mean he's gonna take that, obviously. Oh, no subs? Come on, dude. Come on, Gary. Oh, did, did he go coastal? Oh, I did not expect him to go coastal. Skip through all the sub sightings around Pearl. He's gotta be running out of fuel soon, right? Unless he's just sitting in one hex. A lot of stuff spotted north of turn 8. <laughs> Damage to Val. Uh, bomb, he's bombing Pegu. Yeah, it's because I was. Ferrying planes through, so he got recon on it and said there's bombers there. Those are already damaged planes, I'm pretty sure. He's got the rail him somewhere else. He's doing a lot better with uh, bringing his better planes up and uh, and doing escorts than the previous game. Hit hit a few Bettys, bombing from a 16k. He's not gonna hit an he's not gonna hit much, but he's just trying to slow down my fort building, trying to stay out of range of my AA, which is ferocious at Singapore. Come on, give me my airstrikes. Unless he got, he must have got out of range. Because I was already going at pretty extreme ranges for my planes. Look, look, the full planes should have had enough range. Unless I messed up the, uh, unless I could have put the range lower so they didn't hit something farther away that I didn't want them to go after. Yeah, not gonna get anything else out of that convoy. Got a few ships out of it. Got a cruiser mine layer with the good depth charges, I was just told. And that sinking noise, I'm hoping, was the Kyushu class. I think one of these is a Kyushu class. I think it was the Tenryu or the Teryu. Those are his best AKs. Uh, deliberate attack, clear terrain next to Nanyang. Uh, did he just attack with vehicles? Yeah, he did. This is the problem with early game China and him using tanks. Is he loses only two vehicles, I lose 31 squads and 14 engineers. Nothing I could do against that. These guys were already trying to retreat back into Nanyang. This should go well, I think. He attacked with one to two odds. Uh, I mean, it went all right, I guess. I take double the casualties. He only loses two squads with 44 disabled. I lose two squads, 32 disabled. He also loses an engineer. Pretty even. Bombarding Clark. My m 1918 should should be here this time. I 
Ouch, I still take two squads destroyed. Okay. Let's see, did they get here this time? Come on, scroll faster. I think it's these guys. Yeah, so they got here. Right, south of Momon, he has Royal Thai Army Division, which is trash. And he does have that tank regiment. Which, I do have anti tank guns down with Maul Mine, so it won't be a complete rollover. I wish this unit just died, to be honest. He landed an entire infantry regiment at Ternate. Got a tank coming down the west side of Malaya is the 6th tank regiment, and he captures Kuala Lumpur. Shock attack? Nuh uh, there's no way. I had enough AV there and I owned the hex side. Oh no, wait, no, I didn't. These guys are already here. Shit. Please don't tell me I lost too much. Ouch. That ah, could have been worse. Only 8 squads destroyed. He has 10 disabled squads. 100 casualties to 1,000 casualties. He lands on Tavoy. Okay. That was a good turn for me. Madras, Fort Size 3. Can't go, Fort Size to 2. Any turn with that little action is a win for the Allies in the first six months of the war. Getting AKs. Tank Battalion, Field Regiment, Motorized Regiment in New Zealand. To get a bomb squadron in... Uh, the East Coast. Let's see the intel reports. Uh, two losses to six. Every single one was ops losses. And Sally, Babs, Tina. That's a new one. I think that's transport. Uh, Betty, zero. Two different Catalinas. That's probably what sent the guys into Tavoy. Oh, nope, I don't want to do that. All right. Wait, he's finally clearing the mines at Hong Kong? <laughs> and nothing of note in the ops reports. Uh, this was a recon. Was it a bomber or a recon? Okay, so. Darn it. Okay, it's going to be annoying to find because this was something that came from. That I railed from the west coast. These bolos, there we go. These guys will eventually go to uh, India just getting just trying to get some pilots into the pool same thing with where is it with uh, this squadron here I'm just trying to get some more pilots and as well that was also a mistake that was there but I'm not gonna send out a convoy for one squadron of planes first troop squadron into Pearl is uh, one day away from docking. They may start unloading. These guys should have be mostly unloaded. Is there any equipment? Nope, it's just supply, which means coastal AA, construction, and port service all have gotten here and be able to start help with building up the base, which is great for me. Still moving along. Some more units in strat I need to, that just got here, that I will need to switch out. Not switch out, but, uh, 
put to combat. Southwest, west. These guys are coming in. They definitely, it is it definitely isn't CS's. Can't remember what CS is, but I think it's some sort of support craft. Yeah, this sucked. I had subs on these two. I didn't, and I had one up there. I did not expect him to do coastal movement. It was smart on his part because I'm reluctant to put subs in, co in shallow waters. Well, he's got a group of DDs. North. East. Oh, so, the, you know, this is... Dang, he got his convoy out that far. This is just a couple of escorts. Uh, he got his guys out of there really quick. Still has his battleships in a task force at Rabal. Not sure why. Maybe he's trying to prevent a bombardment. Well, let's check SIGINT reports. Very small. Check where that is. Obviously, trying to do Singapore. 33rd Division on an AP moving to Bangkok. Where is 8448? I should probably get like a a hex thing. I need to go up to find forty-eight. Okay, it's in China. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I need to find a. Probably should have a a map grid that'll show an occasional like have an occasional lines of uh, map grids. So there's at least four ships moving the 33rd Division, and an AP moving to Bangkok. I guess he does have to go all the way into Bangkok. But he could have... I mean, there's always risk in moving uh, stuff by sea. I, I just don't know where he's moving it from, because I have subs in the area. I doubt it's this group. And it, I, I don't think it's from Saigon either. So I'm. it has to come from Home Islands area. I think. Singapore building up nicely. It's only at 17%. I'm just keeping this tanker here until uh, I get another tanker group back because I don't want to have a million things of one tanker moving around. They're just not going to be that efficient. Uh, 18th Division is one day away from arriving, two days away from starting to unload. I do need to move an escort or two in there. I forgot that they don't spawn with any. This will need an escort as well. Yeah, these are just planes being rotated from the DEI. I only got two more planes ready to pull out into India. My two Indian brigades are one day away from arriving in Mall Mine, which means he did let me get another 212 AV in there. It's not going to be much because the first Burma division is just that bad. Do we have uh, seven AT guns now? These Burmese squads are trash. I don't have a lot of British squads, Indian squads. They are not the 42s. But both these squads are way better than the Burmese. 
And then since I've re done some replacements, they've been able to fill out better their supports, which has been, which will add some staying power. Not exactly, not exactly firepower, but the ability to just stay there and take up some time. I'm not worried about these guys. I'm worried about, okay, this is up to two. I'm worried about this being the Imperial Guard Division. That was at uh, Pin, Pin Santa Luque. Pin San Uloc. Whatever. I don't know what the other unit would be. Probably a supporting unit. Gonna station some subs along North Borneo. He does have some subs patrolling the straits between Oosthaven and Batavia, which is fine by me. Well, fine by me for now. 53rd and 39th have loaded. I, I did decide I was going to just move everything into the first Aussie Corps as it is actually cheaper to move two units, to move all three, than it is just move two due to the quarter cost for changing out the units. Supply getting into Numea. Once again, Numea is going to be my, uh, kind of like my SOPAC linchpin. I need this in order to protect the Tasman Sea, really. And I also, I do want to keep Fiji and Samoa and Fiji and Samoa as well, but I gotta get uh, New Caledonia first. Right, I don't think. Let me just check to see if that artillery unit got there. Yeah, it was this guy, and they did. They did not perform very well, but I will now be able to set these to bombardment and hit him with the 155s. Alright, on that note, I am going to end the episode here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.